Hey, good evening. Today we are continuing our daily reading. We're in the book of Genesis chapter 9. As I always state, uh, go to a church that has Bible study, midweek service, or has Sunday school and have the word broken down for you. An easier way for you to understand it and share it with people. Also, get with some friends who share the word, have church with them, and talk about the Lord and get a better understanding of the Lord. Also, get a Bible. Um, anyone that you can use from NIV to Amplify, whichever one you can read better, so that you can get an easier understanding of the word. And most importantly, call on the Lord for understanding. If you ask him to understand and fill you with knowledge of the word, he will do just that. If you seek him, you will find him because he is waiting on you. So Genesis chapter 9 reads as follows. Then God blessed Noah and his sons, saying to them, Be fruitful and increase in number and fill the earth. The fear and dread of you will fail, fall on all the beasts of the earth and on all the birds in the sky, on every creature that moves along the ground, and on all the fish in the sea. They are given into your hands. Everything that lives and moves about will be food for you. Just as I gave you the green plants, I now give you everything. But you must not eat meat that has its lifeblood still in it. And for lifeblood, I will surely demand an accounting. I will demand an accounting from every animal and from each human being too. I will demand an accounting for the life of another human being. Whoever sheds human blood by humans shall their blood be shed. For in the image of God has God made mankind. As for you, be fruitful and increase in number. Multiply on the earth and increase upon it. Then God said to Noah and to his sons with him, I now establish my covenant with you and with your descendants after you and with every living creature that was with you, the birds, the livestock, and all the wild animals, all those that came out of the ark with you. Every living creature on earth, I establish my covenant with you. Never again will all life be destroyed by waters of a flood. Never again will there be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, This is the sign of the covenant I am making between me and you and every living creature with you, a covenant for all generations to come. I have set my rainbow in the clouds, and it will be the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. Whenever I bring clouds over the earth and the rainbows appears in the clouds, I will remember my covenant between me and you and all living creatures of every kind. Never again will the waters become a flood to destroy all life, Whenever the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will see it and remember the everlasting covenant between God and all living creatures, so every kind of every kind on the earth. So God said to Noah, This is the sign of the covenant I have established between me and all life on the earth. The sons of Noah who came out of the ark were Shem, Ham, and Jepheth. Ham was the father of Canaan. These were the three sons of Noah. And from them came the people who were scattered over the whole earth. Noah, a man of the soil, proceeded to plant a vineyard. When he drank some of its wine, he became drunk and lay uncovered inside his tent. Ham, the father of Canaan, saw his father naked and told his two brothers outside. But Shem and Jephthah took a garment and laid it across their shoulders. Then they walked in backwards and covered their father's naked body. Their faces were turned the other way so that they would not see their father naked. When Noah awoke from his wine and found out that his youngest son had done had done to him, he said, Cursed be Canaan, the lowest of slaves, will he be to his brothers. He also said, Praise the Lord, the God of Shem. May Canaan be the slave of Shem. May God extend Jephthah's territory. May Jephthah live in the tents of Shem. And may Canaan be the slave of Jephthah. After the flood, Noah lived 350 years. Noah lived a total of 950 years, and then he died. Chapter 10 This is the account of Shem and Jepheth, Noah's son, who themselves had sons after the flood. The sons of Jepheth were Gomer, Magog, Madai, Javan, Tubal, Meshech, and Teres. The sons of Gomer were Eskenaz, Repath, and Togamah. The sons of Javan were Elijah, Tarshish, the Kittites, and the Rodenites. From these, the 
maritime people spread out into their territories by their clans within their nations, each with its own language. The sons of Ham, Cush, Egypt, Put, and Canaan. The sons of Cush, Seba, Ivalis, Sapta, Rama, and Septeca. The sons of Rama, Sheba, and Vidon. Cush was the father of Nimrod, who became a mighty warrior on the earth. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. That is why it is said, like Nimrod, a mighty hunter before the Lord. The first sinners of his kingdom of Babylon, Uruk, Akkad, and Kelna, and Shinar. From that land, he went to Assyria, where he built Nineveh, Rehoboth, Ir, Kala, and Resin, which is between Nineveh and Kala, which is the great city. Egypt was the father of the Ludites, the Ammonites, the Leobites, the Nephonites, the Pathurasites, the Kasluhites, from whom the Philistines came, and the Captorites. Canaan was the father of Sidon, his firstborn, and of the Hittites, the Jebusites, the Amorites, the Girgashites, the Hivites, the Archites, the Sinites, the Arvidites, the Zemerites, and the Hamathites. Later, the Canaanite clan scattered in the borders of Canaan reached from Sidon toward Gerar, as far as Gaza, and then toward Sodom, Gomorrah, Adma, and Zeboim, as far as Lasha. These are the sons of Ham by their clans and languages and their territories and nations. The Semites, the sons, were also born to Shem, whose older brother was Jepheth. Shem was the ancestor of all the sons of Eber. The sons of Shem, Elam, Asher, Ephraxad, Lud, and Aram. The sons of Aram, Uz, Hal, Gether, and Meshech. Ephrax was the father of Shelah, and Shelah the father of Eber. Two sons were born of Eber. One was named Peleg, because it's his time the earth was divided. His brother was nicknamed Joktan. Joktan was the father of Almodad, Shifla, Hazar Merivith, Jera, Hadaram, Uzzah, Dikala, Obal, Abimel, Sheba, Ofer, Hevilah, and Jobab. All these were sons of Joktan. The region where they lived stretched from Mesha towards Sephar in the eastern hill country. These are the sons of Shem by their clans and languages and their territories and nations. These are the clans of Noah's sons according to their lines of descent within their nation. From these the nations spread out over the earth after the flood. Amen.